Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, today we're gonna do a rigging video and we're gonna rig this seagull, okay? Now, before we do that, where did I get this guy? Um, I downloaded this for free on uh, tf3dm.com, okay? Lots of free models that you can download here, but uh, pay attention that it's for non-commercial use only, okay? So be fair and, and don't misuse it, all right? Cool. So back to our tutorial. So we got our bird and we're gonna create a simple rig for our bird, okay? Just to prove that there's nothing going on in our bird just yet, I'm gonna select my bird and go to Windows Outliner and right here you can see I got my model and nothing else. No joints, no handles, nothing, okay? Okay, let's get started. We're gonna move to our top view. And from our top view, I'm gonna to start to create a joint system in the uh, right wing, at least right wing from this point of view. So we're gonna to go to our rigging menu. We're gonna to go to our rigging tab and we're gonna select Let's get rid of this menu thing here. We're gonna select joints, create joints, okay? I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna start just right of the main body, right there. And as I create joints down the wing, I kinda need to consider where actual joints would be in a bird wing, and also what the range of uh, movement will be once I have placed them. So I'll do my second joint, let's say here, I'll put one close to the end, and I'll do one additional one all the way to the end, just to give a little bit more movement uh, possibilities for you know the wing tips and so forth. And I'm gonna hit enter, all right? Now, if we switch views, you can see from my front view that it has been created, but it's nowhere near my bird, okay? So I'm gonna select my master joint right here, pull that up inside our bird, Take the second one, bring that one up. This one will raise that slightly, and this one will raise all the way to the top, okay? So that one's in position, that's fine. Now, obviously we need one for the other wing, uh, but we're not gonna create that, we're gonna duplicate it. So again, I'm gonna select the master of my joint here, and I'm gonna go up to skeleton and uh, mirror joints hit my option box. And based on the orientation of my bird on the grid, I need to choose which setting that I'm gonna to use to mirror it over properly. In my case, I need Y and Z. So when I hit mirror, I now have a joint system at the other end as well, which is good, okay? So now let's create the joint system for the main body and the tail. So I'm gonna go and switch to my top view again create joints. I'm gonna start just behind the beak, in the middle, obviously. One there. I'll do one roughly where the neck is. I'll do one at the base of the tail. And I'll do one at the end. And hit enter. Now, we have the same problem here. Our joint system is not inside our bird just yet. So select your master. Pull that up. The second guy, we're gonna raise that just a little bit so it's centered to the neck. This guy, we're gonna raise it up a little bit. And for the tail, we're gonna pull that up here. And hit enter. Okay. So now we have a simple uh, rig, joint rig, for our wings and our main body. Uh, one problem though, they're not connected, okay? This joint system is not connected to this joint system. Okay, so we're gonna select the master joint for this wing, shift select the master joint for that wing, and shift select the joint in the main body. And we're gonna hit P on our keyboard to parent them, like so. Now, to prove that that actually happened, we're gonna select our bird, and we're gonna hit Control H to hide it. And you can now see that you have a joint system for the body and the tail and the wings, and it's all connected. It's good, okay. We're gonna go back to display, show all to get our bird back. So now we're ready to go, right? Well, we're not, and I'll show you why. If I select this wing uh, joint and I move it, 
the joint's moving, but the bird is not. So, control Z to go back. What we need to do is we need to connect the skeleton system, or the joint system, to the bird. So, we're going to go to Windows, Outliner. We're going to select our entire joint system. And we're going to shift select our bird. And then we're going to go up to Skin and Bind Skin. Okay. So now, if I were to go in and select these two shoulder joints by clicking and shift clicking, and I were to hit E to rotate, I'm now able to move these wings. All right. Uh, it's pretty static, as you can see, the way that it's moving. So I can also select one joint over and one joint over. And I can now do this. All right. Okay, cool. What we haven't done yet, though, is we haven't created uh, an IKEA handle system for this guy. Now, an IKEA handle system is um, stands for uh, inverse kinematics. Uh, and what that pretty much means is, if I were to select this joint right here, and I would move it towards the bird, I would want to see this shoulder or, or elbow joint move upwards automatically. Okay. So for that, we need to create an IKEA handle system. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to go to Skeleton, Create IKEA Handle, hit our option box. And what we want to do here is make sure that your current solver is Rotate Plane Solver instead of Single Chain. Okay, so Rotate Plane. Shut that down. With that selected, we're going to go in and we're going to click on our master joint there and shift click at the end and as we do that you can now see that a handle has been created this guy at the end okay so now if we hit w to move that joint look what happens it's exactly what we wanted okay we can now move the wing backwards i'll hit five for shaded mode so you can see it better uh, i can move it backwards i can move it in i can move it up Oops. Come on. Just miss grabbing there a little bit. Sorry about that. But also, I'll just go Control Z to go back to my original position. Okay. You have a handle back here. And oh, sorry, we need to create that. So we got the IKEA handle for that wing. We're going to do the same for the other two systems. So just hang on. For wireframe mode once again, and actually let's hide our bird. That works a bit easier. Okay. So skeleton create IKEA handle. We're gonna go in. We're gonna click on this guy and shift click on that guy, which has now created a handle over there. Hopefully, I still have the one here. Yeah, that one's still in place, as you can see by that cross that one as you can see by that cross and now we're going to create the key handle for the uh, the main body so uh, where do you go create a key handle one there and shift click one there so i key handles everywhere nice we're going to go back to display show all to turn back on our bird and we're going to hit five for shaded mode okay so with this guy selected, we can move that up and down, right? To move the bird, you can kind of, you know, move it like that. If you had a slightly more advanced rig, you could move the tail to the left and right if you want it and so forth, but that's kind of, you know, personal choice. So we got all that. Now, just to clean things up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some controls because now you have to kind of zoom in and find that little cross there and select it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a NURBS curve. So if we move over to the left, you have curves and surfaces. We'll create a simple NURBS circle, which has now been created on our grid. Let's move that back here. Pull that up and hit E to rotate that to 90 degrees. And there we go. Maybe hit R and scale it up just so we can easily get to it. And then we'll 
do another one. And we'll move that over here. E to rotate it to minus 90 in this case. We'll hit W and we'll pull that up. Move it over here a bit. And maybe hit R and scale it up. We'll hit Control D to duplicate it. W to move over. That's about right. So we have all of those created. Pull it in just a bit. And what we now need to do is we need to parent our I key handles to our nerves curves so we can use them as controls. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click on this nerve, uh, this I key handle. I'm going to shift click on this nerve circle and I'm going to hit P to parent. So now when I click on the circle, this lights up as well. So based on this circle, I can now move the circle instead, right? Okay. We're going to do the same with the other two. Select your nerves, uh, your IKEA handle, shift select this guy and hit P. And over here, the same deal. Select your IKEA handle, shift select your curve and hit P. So now when I select that, you know, I can move. Okay, once again, a very, very basic uh, rigging system but nevertheless, uh, hopefully helpful. And um, if you like it, please um, you know, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll help you if I can. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.